this story begins with a vision. A vision of a man lying in his own grave. The grave had the appearance of earth, sand, and clay, but this grave was different. This grave was created by sin, greed, lust, power, money. They promised him everything, but they deceived him. They were a waterless well, and with each indulgence, the grave became deeper. But this story, this story isn't about this grave, and this story isn't about this man. In truth, this man represents you. rose and saw the walls of the grave getting higher, the grave descending deeper to match the sins he committed. He became scared and quickly rose to his feet. He felt the walls. They were solid. He began trying to claw. He began trying to jump to reach the top, but he quickly gave up. He knew, deep down, that he belonged here, that his sins had caught up with him. He began to ask for help. He prayed, God help me. A humble man came to the edge of the grave and reached his hand over. But as much as the man in the grave tried, as much as he jumped, with all of his effort, he just could not reach. In anger and frustration, he began to despair. But then the man, this humble man, told him to step aside. And he descended into the grave. He told him that things would be okay and embraced him. He then motioned that he would lift the man in the grave out. Effortlessly, the man was lifted from the grave. He came out shining white and he had an overwhelming joy and sense of freedom but then suddenly realized if he couldn't climb from the grave, neither could this man, this savior. He looked in the grave and saw the savior laying in his place in the grave he created. And the savior looked up and said, it's okay. He looked almost pleased as he took the man's place. The man rose from the grave confused he began to wonder he wondered how could someone see all of his sin how could they see all the devastation he'd caused and then take that sin on how could they die the death he deserved what kind of savior was this he must have known something something about death 